Hey everybody, welcome back to The Now Mom. I'm Rachel Bennett and today we're gonna be talking all about periods and puberty with your girls. So today we are going to be sitting and discussing all about periods and puberty and kind of going over the aspects of what happens, how it happens, answering lots of questions. So you're gonna see a lot of questions that they've asked as well as a lot of our audience over on the Ohana Adventure has been asking about this. And so we are a very open family, so it's not embarrassing to us anymore. And so we try to keep that open so that they can feel that um, they can come to us if they need any help or have questions about it. So the first tip I'm gonna to share today is honestly, just being open and available to talk with your daughters. Mom, why do we get periods? Girls will go through puberty and through puberty, which means like you're, you have hormones, which makes you smell. Ew, mom, you smell. Or oh. it makes you get hair in your Ew. armpits. Ew, that's just gross. And other places. Or you start to grow taller, yep, you get sweaty. But as you go through puberty, your body changes to be able to create babies. So do you remember how we talked about menstruation? So menstruation is when um, the female body prepares for the egg. So your eggs come from your ovaries, they go down your fallopian tubes into your uterus, which is the size of a fist. Everyone make a fist. Yeah. Uterus your uterus is the size of your fist. So the egg goes into the uterus and your uterus prepares a lining inside for the babe, babe, babe. So your body in the uterus makes a lining for the egg and when the egg drops down and if the egg is not fertilized, the lining and the egg is flushed out of your body. And that's what a period is. And that's what a period is. Bleed out of your body. You bleed. So tip number two is obviously what kind of instruction do you want to give? So there's lots of things online where you can show like a video, there's books that you can get, um, there's also curriculum that you can get. Um, and I highly suggest this curriculum is from The Good and the Beautiful. It has good pictures, it's really great to understand, and it lays it out just for you. All right, so here is the maturation program from The Good and the Beautiful. And I think it was only about $20 and which is really great and I put it in this binder. So as you can see, we've got like columns and topics and when they go through the different topics, they have really great basic pictures um, and it talks about um, boys maturing as well as girls and then it will also get into obviously like how babies come about. So one of the great topics and things that you should be talking about are those two things. So obviously periods of puberty and maturing, but also you know where babies come from or the big talk as some people talk about it. So this is a really great curriculum for that. It is Christian based, um, so it does talk about God. Uh, so if you do not like that type of curriculum, there's many out there that you can find that have a really good maturation program. So it talks about female bodies and different looks and how we mature and talks about nursing. Um, so it shows obviously like how animals, this is a normal thing um, throughout the earth, animals nurse their, ba uh, their babies as well as like humans do. Um, it has different pictures and it even references like how plants and animals grow um, and how we also will grow. So it's really good to have a good curriculum, especially if it's your first child and you're not quite sure what to say. You might be a little nervous because some people feel like this is a sensitive topic, but the more open you are, the more open that your child's gonna be with you. So I definitely encourage getting a good program that you can um, talk to with your kids about it. Mom, do you have to tell your mom and dad? Uh, no, that's a good question. When I got my first period, I actually didn't tell my mom. I told my sister and she helped me. She showed me how to clean my underwear that you that I put on, <laughs> she, uh, which is do it with cold water, guys. Um, and she told me how to use a pad and all different types of supplies. So no, you don't actually have to tell your mom and dad. Um, they could be helpful. So if you don't have any older siblings, you might want to, because then they can help you out with that. And even if you do have some siblings, you might want to talk to your mom, because they do have a lot of good advice. Remember, like, all women are going through this. All women. And so, just so you don't feel like alone, but you don't. I don't think anyone. I don't think everyone has to talk to their parents about it. It's just a good conversation to have because then um, they can help you through the hard times, especially if you have like bad cramps 
or if you are in pain and what to do. Next tip is age. A lot of people ask us, what age do you start having these talks with your children? So at age eight, we do the big talk. We talk about where babies come from and we do a special date. If you guys have not seen that video, I will link that down below where we took out Cora. So Evie, where do we take you on your special date? To this park. To a park. And we brought bought some treats and we had like... To Neaters. Oh, that's right. We went to Neaters before and we talked and we also went to the park, right? Yeah. Um, and so we make it kind of a special occasion because we want to open it up so that they can feel comfortable in asking us questions where it's not awkward and we can discuss all the different aspects, right? So after age eight, we do follow-up conversations. So eight, then nine, 10, 11, 12, and so on. Um, we do like a yearly conversation, or if they have questions, we're open to having a conversation whenever, right? Yep. So Evie is how old now? 10. Evie is 10, and in fifth grade, um, in public school, a lot of people have maturation programs. So that's why I bought this program for homeschool since we homeschool because this is a great time to have a conversation. A little bit of advice, I highly suggest that as parents, even if you put your kids in public school and they go to a maturation program, that you go with them and you have these conversations afterwards. So after the program, maybe sit down, take them out for ice cream and talk about like, maybe if they have questions or if they didn't understand or if you wanna talk more about the products or how to use certain things um, because that leaves the communication open so that as they grow and mature, they can come to you if they have any questions. Hi, Evie. Yep. <laughs> so, uh, definitely start around age 10 or 11 for maturation if you don't have your kids in public, public school, um, but I highly suggest starting the conversations now. What age am I supposed to start? It can kind of vary. It depends on you. So I started when I was 13. Raquel started at 14. So it really does depend on your family. So if most of your siblings are 14, then you might start around that time. Are you ready, Evie? No. All right, tip number four is to take your kids shopping. So even if your child is 10 or 11, I highly suggest that you go down the feminine product aisle because it might be something totally new and, un and foreign to them, and we don't want them to be embarrassed. So if you go shopping with them and you take them shopping to buy products, maybe possibly for yourself, then they'll be familiar with the products and it won't be um, as embarrassing for themselves um, or anybody else. So we have some products here. I have a bunch of girls in my house, so I have a ton of products. Huh. Okay, so we have the Playtex Sport. These are tampons. Um, I also found some Always Pure pads, so these are free of chlorine bleaching. So it's very um, good to be aware what's in your products that you're using for your periods and, and um, for puberty because sometimes those different products can affect your body or people can break out or have certain reactions. So make sure that you're aware and like you follow up with your girls. But, um, so I got a bunch of these pure pads, free of chlorine bleaching, as well as I have some of this always pure tampons um, and that will help. But we got sports, we got pads. We also have these carefree mini pads. These are really, really great starter pads and this is great for girls to take around even when they're younger and they start to have discharge. Um, and this is called a um, a pixie cup, but this is a menstruation period cup. So this is a little bit different and um, you would insert it somewhat like a tampon and there's instructions in the cups, but because it is silicone, this is something that you would dump out and rinse and wash. Um, as opposed to like a disposable product that you would use. So take your girls shopping, make them sh make sure that they're familiar with all of the products, what their uses are, what they need, um, and then you can go make a period kit, which leads me into tip number five. Is there a lot of products that we have to learn about? Well, there's not a lot. There's a different assortment, like there's pads, there's tampons, and I'm pretty sure that's it. There's different kinds, like there's different types, so if you're like heavy, light, or just like spotting, there's different pads for that. And then tampons are used for different stuff, so like swimming, you can use tampons. Yeah, so there's a lot of different types. There's sport ones for people who are more sporty. There's also <laughs> regular ones. Um, they also have some other products like a diva pad. Okay, our last tip in talking to your girls about periods and puberty is to make a period kit. Now keep watching because we're gonna go in full detail of what products to buy as well as how to set up and make your own period kit. So essentially you're just gonna need this cute little bag. And again, I'm gonna share all of this information over on the blog, theohanaventure.com, so that you can see in full detail what to buy. So 
keep watching for that because that video on what goes into a period kit is gonna be coming up next. But essentially you just want a little bag and you're gonna throw in a couple of your favorite products that you use. And there you go, you have an easy period kit. Now, again, we're gonna go in full detail on some of the best products to put inside a period kit, um, fun places to hide them, or easy places to keep them out of sight so that your girls may not be embarrassed if they're carrying around this little tiny baggie um, and whatnot. But here's some quick, easy five tips on how to talk to your girls um, about puberty and periods and we even answered a bunch of questions that we got on social media. So if you follow us on the Ohana Adventure um, Instagram or Rach Bennett Instagram or the Now Mom, we asked a bunch of questions and people replied on different conversation topics on what to say.